Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a little while since we've hung out and after my trip to New York, I have so many purchases to share with you. So I have everything that I bought from iMats right here with me and then I also have things that I bought from a few shops in Times Square. I went to a shop in Chinatown, um, a little beauty place that was probably one of my favorite things that I did the whole time. And what else? Yeah, we got some really cute stuff. We got a lot of beauty products. So if you want to see everything, everything that I bought in New York City, then just keep watching. So before we dive in, I just want to show you guys a package that I came home to that I was really excited about. So this is from the Peach Box, which that's the little logo there. They're an Australian jewelry company and their stuff is so gorgeous. So they sent me two pieces. They did let me pick these out a little while ago. So I have a Mark Bale watch and then also this bangle right here. This is the Skinny Roman Empress bangle, which goes together so so beautifully I just love that and I was tempted to go with silver like I was like right on the edge of getting silver because that used to be like my only color of jewelry I used to wear I was one of those that was like no I'm not wearing gold but this rose gold is so beautiful and I think in the summertime I don't know it just looks right on the skin so I love this combination so beautiful and this mesh is just gorgeous rose gold they also included a little leather strap if I wanted to be a little bit more casual with it and then it does have the rose gold on it to match so I will link peach box and the products that they sent me down below so you can check them out I'll also include a coupon code just so you guys if you're interested in this because these are absolutely gorgeous I really love this and you guys know I don't wear a ton of jewelry so I have to really like the pieces in order to wear them like I always wear my diamonds I had now have my little gold hoop in my nose and that's just about it for me like I wear every now and then I'll wear a necklace usually when I do it's something special so I really love these and yeah so I just wanted to throw that in there and say thank you really quick to them and then let's dive into everything else okay I'm gonna start with I'm at my first stop was Mac which I really probably should have stopped at Morphe I wound up not buying anything from Morphe because the line was so long I will link my vlogs down below especially the one with iMats in it if you want to check it out but I did hit up MAC first. I got this giant bag, which I have to say I really like. First, I got the Fix Plus Pink Light, which is like the illuminating setting spray. Hopefully you guys can see that. It has this like opalescent kind of feel to it. It looks so gorgeous. And then I also picked up two of the Powder Kiss lipsticks. This is Style Shocked, but this formula, man, looks so gorgeous. I think I'm going to have to order more of these, but I just felt like, hey, let me pick a couple up and try them out. I do believe that these were maybe full price because they're such a new item, but most things were discounted, of course. And they even have like the soft matte packaging. And then this one is called Sultriness. So that's that. Let's throw this one on since I don't really have anything on the lips. But this formula is literally out of this world. I love the way that it feels. It feels like such a comfortable matte but has this smooth powder finish that it just it's really unique so I really like these. So that's really all the product that I bought. I bought two powder kiss and then I bought the fix plus. And then when you spent 60, you got this item for free. So this is the Lyle Cox Head of Design book. If you like more of like runway editorial type of things, you would definitely be intrigued by this. This is just one of them for instance. And then this is the front and the back, but this tells you like everything that was used to go in this. This is a shoe box is the whole thing. There's turkey bones from Thanksgiving dinner buttons doll shoes salad dressing tube <laughs> what the heck oh my god you wouldn't even notice that how interesting so he actually was supposed to be there to sign at some point i didn't bother going back to um get it signed and honestly i didn't think about it anymore but yeah very very interesting if you are into more like avant-garde artwork or editorial makeup i'm pretty sure the next booth i went to was suva beauty so specifically when i went to suva i wanted to check these out they are their liners that are water activated so they're called hydra fx and this is completely dry so it doesn't really come off until you add water but this one is the neon acid trip i got space panda so i got like a basic 
white so I will use this for white but you can also use it to lighten all the other shades up and these are normally $14 and I think I paid nine for each of them this is the shade fanny pack it's like this bright ass green I got scrunchy which is super hot pink this is mainly what I wanted like I wanted all of these bright colors that was my intention going to them and um, I felt kind of bad because I feel like everybody who walked up there was actually looking for these specific products and they weren't interested in the rest. She was like, have you tried the liquid lip formula? And I was like, no. <laughs> um, I'm sure that they have some other good products, but for right now, this is what I was interested in. And man, they're gorgeous. Also got the shade Freezy, which is the, not one of the neon ones, but just a really pretty color. A little pricey when you consider that I got six of them, but I'm not mad at it. Can't wait to play with these. So I stopped by the Nigel booth, which is Nigel Beauty. They had kind of an assortment of things. So I don't know if these are all technically owned by the same company or if they're just affiliates or something, but I got a little bit of everything. So I picked up another one of the original RCMA powders. This is just a must for me. I think this powder is just really amazing. They also had like Anastasia. There was a bunch of stuff in that general area. I got the Lemonhead Space Paste in the shade Adult Film. I've got to show you guys this. You definitely should watch my vlog if you want to see some of these in action because like all of the Hydra FX liners she swatched on my hand for me so I could see them and under a black light which was really cool. I really wish my neighbor wasn't cutting his grass at seven o'clock at night. Look at that. Oh my god. So this is to me kind of similar to the one Tarte came out with recently, but that one literally smells like super strong like glue or paint or something. This one literally smells like lemons. Oh, I could have gotten a bunch of these, but this one really caught my eye with all this multicolor kind of shift to it. It literally shifts like the rainbow, but a lot of like purpley blues and greens. So I am very happy to play with this. And this was my first time using anything from Lemonhead Cosmetics. So super stoked to give this a try. I got a few pair of lashes. These were all just $1.50. So really, if you were there kind of stocking up for your kit, if you're like a freelancer, this would be the perfect place to do it. And honestly, the more I was there, I was like, oh, I'm kind of like inspired. It would be really fun if you were going to be freelancing. Like that would be the place to go stock up on all your goods for like, honestly, $1.50. I got these lashes. So I got a number 43, a 747, and a 523 from the Nigel booth. And then finally, I got this Monda Studio palette. So this is like a metal palette and I've honestly just been wanting one of these. I almost wish that I had got the square one too because I was kind of going back and forth. The square one was I believe six dollars and this was seven dollars but this is like an artist palette so this will be great when I'm if I want to mix colors of those hydro liners, um, mixing foundations, making a lip up. There's so many things that I can use this for and this one's kind of like very ergonomic too. If you were freelancing this would be an amazing thing Thing to have that way you can just honestly put it right on here and you can keep all your other containers clean really excited to have this all right so I believe next I went to Sigma I'm pretty sure that was my next stop and I got some brushes mainly eye brushes because I feel like eye brushes are always the one I need more of so I picked up several brushes they were also handing out before you were like shopping they were handing out these bags with a couple of samples so the samples I got the Sigmagic brush shampoo E47 shader crease in a little travel size. But that's that little guy. This is actually great for travel too. I actually took a canister of Sigma brushes with me and those were the brushes that I used. I put in a couple little Sephora brushes that were shorter as well. But yeah, the whole time during my trip I was using Sigma brushes. So I was like, you know what? I'm really liking these let me get some more. And then I think they were doing, if you spent was it 50 or 60 you got a free brush so this was the freebie it was the e62 cut crease brush and i can't wait to use this because i could definitely step up my cut crease game it's not my favorite or like go-to look but you know it is fun to do sometimes so like i said several eye brushes i got the e36 blending brush which is a little bit more detailed i got the e25 blending brush which is a flatter blending brush. I got the L04 detailed lip. I 
have maybe one or two lip brushes and I can never find them or they're always dirty. E35 tapered blending, just a really good fluffy blending brush. I got the E44 firm blender. This one's a bit denser and a little bit different. And then finally I got the E06 winged liner brush. I just didn't feel like I had one that was this fine and detailed and could really use this in my collection, especially using it with those Sulu Beauty Hydro Liners. So yeah, that's everything I got from Sigma. I honestly like, I wish I had spent more time and looked more at the time. It was just kind of overwhelming, honestly. And you know, you're in line and everybody's like all crowded around. So I don't know. I feel like I could have spent more time there and really just explored, but some of those lines, man, they were long. So next I went to Lime Crime. Look at this big bag. The big bag was one of the freebies and I love it so much. Here is my actual bag of purchases. I actually love this little bag too, very cute. So when you went to their booth for every like amount you spent, the more you spent, the more freebies you got. So I got quite a lot and I spent about, I spent about 160 because I got a lot of stuff and then I got a bunch of freebies too so the biggest purchase was the Venus XL2 first of all this packaging is sick I'm sorry I really like it and it is vegan and cruelty free too so that's even better I started to buy both of the Venus XL palettes and I was like no stop just one palette today so I got this one which I felt had some different colors in it so my camera just overheated but then the guy's cutting his grass like right beside my house and apparently it takes like two hours to cut like a tiny yard. So I was like gonna wait for the sound to dissipate. Sorry if you guys can still hear that. But like I was saying, I picked up the Venus XL2. I swatched a few shades for you right here. So like a sage matte and a couple shimmers. This palette looks really gorgeous. It is more on the light color side. Lately, I feel like I've been wearing a lot of light shades, but I'm purchasing darker ones. So I was like, you know what? Let me get this. It's really pretty. I absolutely love their plushies. So I purchased two and then I also got two as part of the like freebies. You would have had to like pick a color, but she was like, you know, if you spend 15 more, you get all these things for free. And I was like, yes, I'm a sucker, whatever you say. So I got Turkish Delight and Rosebud. I actually posted, I think on my stories, um, wearing Turkish Delight. It's a really pretty pink. This is Rosebud here on top and then Turkish Delight. Very like me shades, ones that I'll wear all the time. And then I purchased four of their wet cherry glosses. These are absolutely gorgeous. They're very like juicy, shiny. So this is one of them. So this one is Juicy Cherry. I swatched it actually right there on my finger, but look how shiny that is. I just want to be able to show you in a really easy spot. They also smell absolutely amazing. So that one is Juicy Cherry. The one I put over top the Powder Kiss is the shade Naked Cherry funny naked cherry which is really just like a pinky nude um just a soft color and then i also got these two i got baby cherry which is like this baby baby pink and then this one which is just fun and a little bit clearer is cherry crush but it looks like orange marmalade it looks so pretty so i actually purchased all four of those glosses the palette and then two plushies so everything else i'm about to show you i got for free including the bag was one of the like freebies so i got two plushies for free i got violet and then i also got chocolate milk so these are the two shades that i got as freebies there you go and then i also got both of their little plushy palettes for free as well coincidentally i just picked up one of these at tj maxx so i swatched that one on my arm so this is the sweet blends and it's a little four quad they're actually pretty nice little matte shades so i got that one for free so i'm gonna put that one in a giveaway and then i also got fresh squeezed so this one i will keep that looks like this i also love the little like bear print in here i'm a sucker for that so here you go bright colors and then like a little very wearable warm nude color 
My next stop was at the Lit booth. So it says no glitter, no glory. Lit, so cute. So this is one that I was like, I feel like this is like iconic eye mats. Like you have to go get some lit glitters. I may have gone a little crazy. So there was something you could do that was like a pro kit. So you could get four glitters, a large glue, and then you could also get a brush. So I did that and then I got some additional glitters. So the glue is this big one. This is a 30 mil, one ounce bottle of the glue. And then I got this brush right here as well. So this is the little satiny bag I got all my goodies in. I wound up getting a total of eight glitters. So I got four in that little pack and then I got four additional ones. So I got a total of eight glitters. Look at all that. So many glitters. So I'm gonna insert a picture of all of these swatch rather than try to show you in a video because again, eight whole glitters. So I wound up spending, I think it was around $92 or something like that, but eight glitters, a huge ass glue and a brush. Um, and they're kind of expensive for theirs, but they are absolutely gorgeous. So I will swatch these for you and insert a little picture. All right, so that is everything from eye mats that you see there. So now we're gonna dive into some random shopping from Times Square and from Chinatown. I think that's pretty much it, so let's dive into the rest. All right, so first I made a stop at the CoverGirl store. I was really excited to go in there. Um, you guys know that they support me and show me love, send me PR and stuff like that. And it was still in my mind, it's such a big accomplishment to me because they're such a huge brand and now they've gone completely cruelty free too and I'm very appreciative that they would think me worthy of sending me anything at all. So I really wanted to stop in and show my support. This first little bag, I actually picked up a couple things for someone else. So the first one is this little bag and it says I tend to lash out. The only thing is, I guess from getting like bent and creased, it has little marks on it. So the fact that it's like not perfect and it's got little marks on it, I might keep it for myself because um, I don't want to give like a, you know, a messed up product to somebody. This actually came from the next store that I'm going to show you guys, but I got this for her, which is a little bunny and it's like a little sassy bunny. Also has like a weight with it, but mainly just for the bunny, I got this. I also picked up from there just the original CoverGirl True Blend liquid makeup. I have the matte made that I really, really love, so I thought this would be a nice addition as well. I got the shade L3. They do have testers and all in there, and they have all their products. So if you're ever in Times Square for any reason, CoverGirl store is a really cute place to check out. They also have a giant ring light, which I put just a tiny clip into the vlog, but I didn't like the way that I looked at all. I actually like thought about going back the next day and taking better pictures, but I don't know. I'm not comfortable with my body, so I, I don't know. I'm just not a good picture taker other than like, you know, here up kind of thing. I also decided to get this hoodie there. Again, I was just like, I want everything. So this is just a black hoodie. It's got the little CoverGirl logo right there. And then it has this on the back that I thought was so cute. So it says New York City on it. This is like very cozy, comfy kind of material, but it's got the little buildings. It's got a taxi, a little brush, a lipstick, and it even has a little cover girl right there. So I thought this was really, really cute and I wanted it. They also had like a discount for the weekend. So when you walked in, you got like 10 or 15% off everything. And I had to have the next thing too. If you guys watch my videos already, you know that a coffee mug is the last thing I need but I had to get this one. This is so cute. So it's got the little Statue of Liberty face and she's winking and it says CoverGirl New York. So this was just a must have. I could not go without this. So cute, I'm in love. So then we went to the Line Friends store in Times Square. That is where I got the little bunny pin from and then I got everything in this bag as well. So these were characters, I believe they started like several years ago as like kind of like emojis. Um, they're so cute though. So they're called Brown and Friends. That's him and he's a little seal. I don't know, I, I didn't need this. I also got him in a little headband. I got him in a little headband form for when I'm doing my mask. Look how cute. So I really loved all the characters. Like, I need to stop. But I got Choco. These are all plush magnets. So I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put these. I was like, maybe they'll stick to my mirror, maybe they won't, I don't know. But I also feel like I might get something metal, like a picture or something that I could hang to put these on because they're plush magnets. So we've got Choco, she's got her little bow. We've got Chimmy, he's a little dog. We got Tata, 
Look how cute. We've got Cookie is the bunny. I had to get Sally because Sally is a duck, but you know, I have my kitty Sally. And then the last one is RJ and he's like a sheep, I think. I didn't need to spend this money in that store, but I did because you guys know I just can't stop with the cuteness. After that, we went to the Rilakkuma store, which they have plushies. Really, I was just kind of looking around. I had no intention to get anything, but these two guys really caught my eye. Look how cute. I got both of the cats that are a hamburger and a hot dog. <laughs> Look how cute, his little tail and feet. And then this one's a little hot dog. <laughs> I don't know, you guys know I have the biggest soft spot for cute and silly things. So I got both of those. And then I think if you spent like 30 bucks or something, you got this little guy, which look at him, so sweet. Next was Forever 21. I was surprised that the selection there was just kind of so-so. I think it's more so that it's just like not my taste, like what the style is right now. I just can't get into it. I don't like the mom jeans look. There's just so many things right now that I'm just like, no. I did, however, get two headbands. I feel like these are cute for spring and summer. I got that one. And then I also got this one. And they were about five bucks. So these are more for like when I'm doing my makeup and that kind of thing when I'm doing a video. This little phone case says I wanna talk about it. I thought I might've needed a couple extra pairs of socks. So I picked up these. Now these have little ramen balls on them, which I mainly got those because after my ramen experience at the Teppan Ramen that we went to, it was just like my favorite place that we went to food wise. I really, really loved it. It was like super cozy. They had BTS play the entire time. It was so funny. They were the nicest people and yeah, I just really liked it. And then I got these that have little strawberry milks on them. Just cute little silly things that I would buy any day at Forever 21, but I got them there. And then the very last place that I went to was a little shop in Chinatown. That's the website. There are some like sketchy people there. I've like women literally walking by me going, you want a purse? And I'm like, no, I don't want a purse. Thank you. <laughs> but this place was super cute and I loved it. And you can shop them online. So I'll link them below. So I got this. So this is a Gudetama container of wipes. And I think these are just like baby wipe type things. I think that's what she said. She was like, yeah, they're just like plain cleansing wipes. So the funny part is you can like stick these stickers on so you can have him saying things. Here's the little container. So it's just got little wipes in it. Even the wipes themselves are little Gudetama with his butt out. That is so freaking cute. I think these are just like cleansing wipes or maybe like for your bottom, I don't know. My bag did get flagged for both this and the big MacBook, so they had to like check my bag and all that, but no big deal. They just like, they just ran their little thing over and they're like, you're good to go. That book was of course at the very bottom of my bag, so I had to like repack the whole thing. But it's cool. I also got the Misha number 21 Perfect Cover BB Cream, which happens to have our same little brown guy here, but he's got little kisses on him. And the packaging had like his little body sticking up and it's like, you can take it off and use it as a bookmark. So I kept that as well. I also have this in a cushion compact. I actually have it on today, which is why I'm a little bit more like luminous. I've also had this makeup on for hours, but I love that one on like a lighter makeup day. So I just wanted to try this one out. Also got some replacements for my cushion compact but I got Choco so this is actually what the little bookmark looks like so you can take this one off too I love that they do that because I hate throwing away the packages when it's so cute so I, I now have both of those and little bookmarks how adorable these go in like any cushion compact so I thought it'd be really cute to have some backups I got this Gudetama lip balm <laughs> it's so cute look at that Yee! so this was only six bucks so there's our little Gudetama lip balm. They also put some samples and their card in the bag for me. And then everything else is basically sheet mask of some sort. I got some lip masks. So I got two of the Etude House lip masks. This is the honey jelly lip mask. Look at that, how adorable. And then also got the cherry jelly lip mask. Here they are, so cute. I got the, I think it's a Pew or something like that. I've seen the brand a lot, but this is the Strawberry Milk One Pack for brightening. Also from them, the White Milk One Pack Hydrating Mask. 
This one I just got because it looks hilarious. This is the Pure Smile Will You Be a Cat. It's collagen, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. So there it is. And then what you actually look like, it's like the cat's got a little fish in his mouth. Best believe I'm gonna be posting a picture of that somewhere. I got the Eliza Vecca Blackhead Hell Pour Three Step. So I've actually gotten a lot of the Eliza Vecca masks in the past. They are one of the ones that initially came out with the really painful peel off mask. Um, and it is, pretty strong but if I use it just on my nose it actually works pretty well and I have a few of their other masks that I probably need to pull back out and like use up because I've had for a little while so yeah this is a three-step it's all in Korean so we're just gonna have to use our best guess or look it up on the internet I got these which honestly I don't really know what these are for these are this is the animal tiger warming eye mask so it like warms up this one's by S&P, Shining Nature Purity. And this one is by Etude House, and this is also a heating eye mask. It says, this is smartphone, computer, doing your homework overnight. Your tired eyes need rest. The Eye Lullaby Patch provides comfortable rest for your dry, tired eyes with its cushiony texture and warm feel. Hmm. And then I got these. These are from the brand Medi Hill. So these are more of the line friends. So I got the Cookie Mask. I got RJ. And then I also have Chimmy. So these are face point masks. What does that mean? I don't want to open one up until I'm ready to use it though, but it looks like they almost look like little stickers. I feel like I should have gotten like duplicates of these because there's no way I'm going to want to open these up. They're so cute. All right guys, so that is everything. I know this was a really long haul. I asked you guys on Instagram and it was really close, but more people wanted to see one big haul versus split up. So sorry if you were looking for a split up haul, but I hope you guys really enjoyed it anyway. Be sure to leave me a big thumbs up if you like haul videos or any videos of mine at all and let me know that you enjoy. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It would mean the world to me and you can become part of my little YouTube family. Honestly, you guys have no idea how much it means to me. So thank you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.